Hi, these comments are for RT. This is Michael from BetterTofuScores.com. So you got your TOEFL results from April 29th, 2023. So you have a total score of 109. You have 27 reading, 29 listening, speaking is 25, and writing is 28. Okay, so the question, of course, is why are you getting 25? You need to get higher than that, right? And you've been using my speaking and writing service for about a month. So let's do that. I'm going to listen to two of your practice tests right now. I think I've been scoring you probably between about 24 and 26, right? And I think when I'm hearing, when I listen to you, it's probably mostly delivery issues. That's what I'm thinking because I, I look over here and I see the rubrics where it says maybe under delivery you're probably in the four in the language use and topic development and maybe in the three here where it says speech is generally clear with some fluidity of expression though minor difficulties with pronunciation, intonation or pacing are noticeable. So sometimes when you're doing your practice test, you have some pauses and some hesitations in there. You have a fairly heavy accent, and that could be enough. That could be enough to get you the score you're getting right now. Let's listen to the first of two speaking practice tests. So I'm, I'm going to kind of use the screen here. So we have the integrated speaking rubric here. Okay, let's do a split screen here. See how I can do that here. So we'll have the, we have the, your audio file here. And then we have the integrated speaking rubrics. Here we go. So I can kind of look at both at the same time. I want to be able to see the four and the three here. Okay, got it. Okay, let's listen to your first. This is TPO 56 question two. In the evening two. passage, a student proposes that the university should open a campus snack shop. And I'd probably say that the university open. So the student proposes that the university open. This is called the subjunctive mood in English grammar. So when you're using certain kinds of verbs of urging in the noun clause, you can use the base form of the verb there. So to learn more about that, you can go to Google, type in the keywords, what is the subjunctive mood in English grammar? Or using the subjunctive mood in noun clauses after verges of urging. You can type in. Students should run it entirely because this would create more job opportunities for students. In addition, it will be more convenient no, no. for them to buy food. Now, wait a minute. That's your pacing issue right there, right? You didn't have a long enough pause between that one sentence and the next. When you say in addition, that's giving you the beginning of that next sentence. Listen to this one more time. Create more job opportunities for students in addition. So more opportunities for students. In addition, in addition, so you needed a longer pause after that sentence. Then you have in addition, and you probably want to have a slightly higher inflection there because that's, that's a transition word. You want to draw attention to that. So that's a tonal issue also. It will be more convenient for them to buy food and snacks. In the conversation, the man agrees completely with this proposal. First, he illustrates that these jobs will provide students with work experience that can be used in the real world, as they will learn about... Now watch this. Let's go back to the pacing there one more First, time. First, he illustrates that these jobs will provide students with work experience that can be used in the real world. That can be used in the real world. That can be used in the real world. So I think you could do a little bit better with your linking and and read that part of the sentence a little bit faster as they will learn about inventory logistics and schedule so if they are planning okay let's go back let me make sure your nouns are all correct there that can be used in the real world as they will learn about inventory logistics and schedule as they'll learn about inventory justice maybe scheduling i think maybe an ing 
uh, Jaren there would be more appropriate. So if they are planning to establish their own business after graduation, this would be a great opportunity for them. Moreover, he mentions also that even though the cafeteria is very nice, it's always busy and the wait time is so long. Therefore, opening a new campus snack shop will be more convenient okay. for students to grab any snack or food fast. Okay, let's listen to your second practice test here. So studying in a group is better than studying alone. Do you agree or disagree with this idea? So in this case, this is uh, independent speaking here. So let's take a look at these rubrics. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to your last one here. So, so far with your TOEFL exam, you're right around 25 points. With the last integrated speaking practice test, I said that you do have some delivery issues. You have a fairly heavy accent. You sometimes have problems with pacing, including linking the words within your thought groups. I even gave you a suggestion of some lessons that you can study. Uh, okay, let's listen to the next part here. So you did with I this I disagree one. that studying in a group is better than studying alone because okay. studying with other people can waste a lot of time. How about studying with other people can waste a lot of time. So I think you probably want to work on, on creating a little bit of a longer thought group there. So studying with other people can waste a lot of time or studying with other people waste time. For example, last year I used to study with four of my friends who kept talking about other stuff rather than our subjects. Provide a little context. You are getting ready for an exam. What class was this? Uh, what was the subject matter? What, what were the important points you were trying to learn? You could, you could probably provide a little bit more specific details surrounding that information. Therefore, a lot of time was wasted and I was so... But let's go back to the word therefore. Usually you'll, you'll draw a little bit more attention to a transition word like that. Let's listen Stuff again. Stuff rather than our subjects. Therefore... I would say therefore, therefore, so you could, you could vary your tone a little bit more there. Uh, you can learn more about intonation by going to pronunciation lessons 36 through 40, all of which deal with the tonal patterns of American English. A lot of time was wasted and I was so distracted all the time. And this negatively affected my final scores. On the other hand, starting from this year, I started to study by myself, so I I set my own schedule. So I set my own schedule. The time left. So be careful about about uh, pauses like Find that. Scores. On the other hand, starting from this year, I started to study by myself. So I I set my own schedule with a time limit, and I was able to finish everything in more efficient way. I was able to finish everything efficiently. I'd probably say instead of in an efficient way, just I was able to finish everything efficiently. But again, you're using some very vague, generic words there. You need a little bit more specificity to your ideas. And fortunately, I got better scores. So studying by myself is much more efficient than studying with other people. Okay, so this one may be a few minor problems with uh, language use in terms of the specific details and the or the precise vocabulary that kind of connects also to topic development uh, I'm gonna put you about where I've been putting you right around 24 to 26 points so I think to get to get over the 26 here maybe more precise vocabulary words and a little bit better pacing uh, with your pronunciation I think would help and also the pacing also involves intonation and linking so it's kind of like improving tone, I think improving uh, what I call thought groups and blending, all those areas I have in the pronunciation section of my online TOEFL course. All right, so there you go. So at this point, you are at 25 points. You're not quite high enough to get that magic number of 26. So you now know there are some specific things that are going on with your pronunciation, I think, that you want to work on and try to improve on. And remember that when you're improving delivery that you see here mentioned in the rubrics, there's a lot of things that you can do in addition to just completing speaking practice tests. And one of them is just keep 
keep with the exposure a lot of input in your brain right I think reading and listening I think are all good things obviously your reading and listening scores are really high here but uh, when you're reading a, a newspaper you might take a minute and read say an article jot down some key notes and then practice re-explaining the most important points in that reading passage that helps you not only practice your reading but more importantly you're practicing your language use which I think you can you can improve on also similarly when you listen to a listening passage do the same thing listen to the most important points of the lecture jot down some of those key ideas then practice speaking about those things increase your exposure to radio TV find every opportunity you can to speak with English native speakers all these things can help increase your exposure to the language which also can help you to increase your output which is your speaking including your delivery your language use and your topic development all right, thanks RT for completing this speaking practice, these speaking practice tests. And uh, hang in there. I know it's frustrating to get 25 when you need 26, but just keep at it, just like you're doing.